welcome back to my channel and this is your girl Lizzie Licious here and for those who came back and is watching welcome back and for the new people who is just recently discovered this video welcome um so it is the end of the month again and this has been one of the most popular um, videos here in the color tube world and I'm about to share with you my hauls for the month of October uh, but before we proceed with the monthly haul um, I'm just gonna make an announcement that I might, might, I don't want to keep promises, but I'll try my best um, not to do a no buy for this year. So my goal is to know, to have a no buy scheme for at least um, until Boxing Day. I, I just want to be realistic for myself because um it's difficult with all of the new things new shiny things all the books just coming out it's really hard to resist um but anyway um i just want to focus on the things what i have and i just realized that i haven't even tried a lot of products i haven't even touched them since i've got them so I think this is a good way for me to enjoy what I have as well and see what are the things that I have. Uh, I don't wanna, um, I don't want to promise because it's it's very difficult. Uh, what I'm planning is just to my last purchase will be. Hopefully the Carolina coloring books for from Carolina Kubikoska. Uh, I'm having a hard time purchasing at the moment. The last time I tried purchasing their coloring books from her website, um, it wasn't go it wasn't going on the uh, part where you have to finalize and purchase the books, and I've emailed them. So what they told me, they're having difficulty, technical difficulties with the website in Etsy. I'm trying to hold off on Etsy because it can be pricey when it comes to shipping. Whereas if I purchase uh, in their website and just buy the lot of books, coloring books, it would save me much more money. But for now, I'm still thinking about it. I really want it, but... They're on the pricey side of the coloring book, so we'll see how we go. Um, I still have a few things uh, that is coming, which I'm very excited to share with you guys. So that will be for the month of November. But other than that, cross fingers, no purchase, no buy scheme. So stop blabbing. I'll start with my haul. Keep on watching. So, first thing and foremost, oops, sorry, I'll, I'll start with the books, I think. Okay. So, first thing I got is The Nightmare Before Christmas by Tim Burton. So, this is from... A Disney coloring book, but I don't know who's the publishing. Ah, oh, the Scholastic is the publishing company. So I've got this. Hold on, let's put you zoom out you for a bit. So this is basically um, bought in Big W. I was just um, browsing along with my husband, and I saw this really nice coloring book. I know it's a bit late for me to start on this. Um, to be honest, I just wasn't in 
the mood to color much of a Halloween maybe next year anyway I can I can keep this on my stash and I'll start next year and yes next one is uh, also from Disney so it's uh, by Scholastics as well so this is also bought in Big W so it's the Disney Villains coloring book um i believe this is new so when i went back to um big w um uh, they've sold out so i was lucky enough to have this i love disney i love going to disneyland um but the thing with disney coloring books i just like staring at them uh although i love the hatchet heroes but i'm having a hard time matching the colors of the characters but um i do know that it just takes practice for me to be able to come up with the colors copy the characters from the movies and i just love them so what i like about this one it's like the hatchet heroes pop art that i really want to buy the disney princesses so that's the theme or it, it's the same concept so i can just go in town with the background or with the pictures if i want to so yeah so another one is the disney princesses coloring book i saw this from chronic coloring under she also purchased this one and I just had to have it. It's really nice. Um, yeah, so I did. I do enjoy watching the Disney princesses as well. Oh, this is nice. Yes. Yeah, so they also come from the same publishing company, Scholastics Publishing. Yes. All right. Next books is. So I bought a couple of Carla Magana coloring books. Uh, this spooky sweets uh, was on a good price, I think like under ten dollars. However, as much as I like and I was excited about this book, the printing was just uh, off it's uh not centered so i'm returning this on the post office maybe tomorrow or sooner or later so this will be returned and i just asked for a refund and i'm just gonna purchase this um next time so that's uh by carla maganya i was so excited too bad but anyways with amazon it's a hit, hit or miss so oh well Next one is the Dark Garden Coloring Book by Carla Magana as well. So, this is... The paper is thin, but it has a tooth to it. So, what I like about Carla Magana is... She's one of my favorite artists at the moment. Um, you can just go to town with her pictures. And she's really encouraging... Um, hobbyist colorist or artist to just go off the line and you just use completely your imagination with her coloring books so I'm not gonna do a massive or uh, in the complete flip through of this one I'll do it in a separate video Next one is the Desert Muse coloring book by Carla Magana. You know what? I since I've been I hold this for for a couple of weeks already. I totally forgot about this book. But yeah, since um I'm doing this haul, this just gives me a good opportunity to put this aside and start coloring in these books. 
as soon as I finish filming their flip throughs without the colors because I want to film first do a flip through so when I start coloring them and I want to go back and see what does it look like before and after I can go that I can I can do that so that's Desert Muse Um, next one is of course the infamous uh, Disney Girl Power Pixels Mysteries by Hatchet Heroes so I've been seeing a lot of color troopers doing um, this books color by number color by colors and I do have one uh, color by number which is by Sachin Such Diva and I wanted to try what's the fuzz about because apparently these books are very addictive so as soon as I got it I tried it and now I get I get it and it is relaxing. It's very addictive. I haven't done any pictures here yet. Uh, I I'm trying to focus on one book at the moment. Uh, I'll show it to you and I'll do the flip through on a separate video. So that's my first um, Pixels Mysteries. I'm planning to collect all of these types of books. Next one I bought, where is it? Okay, of course, I bought the Chum Chum by Disney Pixels Mysteries by Hatchet Heroes. So it's a, um, I find this on Amazon Australia. Uh, this one goes out of stock really quickly, and it was, I bought it for a good, um, price. It's not too bad, it's like less than $20 so for the hatchet heroes if it's less than a $20 or $15 that's already a good price so I just went ahead and bought it and next one is hold on So next one is Mickey and Friends by Disney. So by Hatchet Hero. So as you can see in uh, the size, I've already did a couple of pictures. Since I got this, I just couldn't stop. So when I'm stressed, I'm from work, I just want to relax and put on color. This is the book that I just pulled out. And I think I can finish this book really quickly because from just the tabs itself, I've just got this for uh, a few weeks from now and I'm, I'm on a roll. So I'm enjoying that and I highly recommend buying these guys. Next one for the Hatchet Heroes. I bought the Disney... Mm? art therapy by hatchet heroes so this was on sale again so when i see a hatchet hero since i plan to collect them if they're on a good price i buy them um and surprisingly i do have one of um one of this type of books so it's um it's not back to back which is good so if i want to use an alcohol marker i can just go for it so that's why i li really like this box however um the lines of this type of books this art therapy they're also similar with the pop culture that i plan to buy but they are currently out of stock again but the lines are small i find it really small so i'm really not keen on starting any picture at the moment 
maybe soon but i know i have to oh this looks off centered uh i have to try uh coloring in them soon so i feel like some of the pictures here are off centered only for one me but anyway i'm not too bothered by that so that's that's the hatchet heroes next one is art deco by disney hatchet heroes again so this was also on sale price unfortunately i should have got the pop one the pop art one because it's uh, it's out of stock again. Hopefully, it's going to be in stock soon. I'm definitely going to um, buy it. So, this one, I really like the pictures because the lines are bigger. Um, I can use crayons if I want to. And look at those pictures. They're so cute. So, yes. So, I think I'll start a picture sooner or later. But I'll do, I'll do a flip through first. So that's that. Next one is... Finally, I've managed to get myself the Crayola Colors of the World Coloring Activity book. I'm trying to collect the whole line of this uh, Colors of the World. So I only am missing the Colors of the World um color pencil uh, i can still see it in the amazon so i'm not really worried at the moment so yeah so that is that i'm just gonna oh australia so i'm just gonna do a mini flip through of this one and then i'll do a separate flip through of all the books that i have Next is okay. So yes, Wonder Morphia by Kirby Rosales. So this one I uh, managed to um, buy it at uh, where was that? It's not a big W. I saw it in Kmart yes in kmart and it was in a good price i only bought it for like nine bucks so if ever you're from australia i've also um uh i was watching one of the color troopers uh, who's also living in australia so she mentioned that uh in kmart they have a good price for the kirby rosales one and it's true sometimes they go on um, Sale. so i managed to grab it um to be honest the first one i have bought i haven't started it still scares me to start a page from kirby rosales but his pictures is amazing so i'm really really happy to have this i plan to collect all his books as well and i've also grabbed my i pre-ordered the kaleidomorphia the new book that he per, uh just recently released so i'm still waiting for the delivery and i'll think i'll be getting it mid-november so i'll just share that with my next haul so that's wonder morphia by kirby rosales next book is Mouse Guard Coloring Book by David Peterson. So this book, oh my gosh. I just had to close my eyes and purchase it in Amazon. This was the last one. And man, oh man, they are crazy expensive at that time when I was buying this. So I just had to close my eyes. It was the last stock that I managed to grab. I, I'm, I do know that this is one of the books that one day you have difficulty finding or purchasing so i just said anyway i'm gonna buy it i don't know if i'm gonna color with it because i know this book is really 
hard to find at the moment in book depository i can't find it as well so yeah but i'm really happy having this in my collection the pages are really gorgeous uh but to be honest it's not my style coloring in this for now but things could change the paper is really nice so for the price i paid it's not too bad so yeah so that one so i think that's all my books yes that's my books for this month Hold on, let me check is it yes Next one is uh, well, it's not coloring related, but A4 business card by Jay Borg. I bought this from Office Warehouse, and what I plan here is uh, to put all the cards that I have basically. But I I forgot to be honest. I forgot why why did I bought this. <laughs> um, I do know I have a plan, but. For now, I forgot it, but anyway, that's the office supply that I got. Okay, next one is the Mystic Gems by Sharpie. It took some time for this line to come to Australia. Um, a few months ago, I saw the Mystic Gems in Office Warehouse and it, it was out of stock. So I finally found this on our local Woolies, which I'm really happy. So this one is the fine permanent marker. I'm still looking for the the the, 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 the uh, fine tip one. So I haven't opened it, and that's the sharpie. Next is. the faber castell black edition so this one i bought also from amazon uh, i find this cheaper in amazon than our local big w so i just grabbed it um this is the biggest set that i could find in australia and in amazon however when i was watching i think that was chelsea marie's um youtube channel that she was shoving around her collection or she was showing something and then at the background i saw the fabric castle and it's a hundred count so i was so curious where did she get that and i i, I was trying to find the youtube video that i watched from my history and I can find it. So, Chelsea, if ever you manage to watch this or find my channel, please let me know. Or if anyone out there, if anyone out there knows where to buy the 100 count of Faber Castell, please let me know because um, it's only exclusive in Brazil. Yes, in Brazil. And when you go to the Amazon page from Brazil, they don't ship here in Australia. I've tried uh, using a different address. I haven't tried UK though, but I'm, I might try that one. But so far, I can't manage to find a website that is in English to sh so I, I'll be able to... Um, purchase the fabric castle uh, it's so sad but i just i just want that one uh, it's one of the things that i will be hunting for a few months uh in ebay i managed to find the 50 count that is coming from uk i'm still thinking about if or not to purchase it or i don't know because i know even if i purchase the 50 set i won't be 
satisfied for now because I know there's a hundred set and I'm a complete set girl but to be honest I tried it as soon as this pencils came and ah, oh, it's really good it's really nice it's smooth and creamy I love it although I haven't really played around with this set I still have I still have to do more pictures with it and I'll be sharing with you soon. So that's Faber Castell Black Edition. And also when I was uh, doing an Amazon tour on the Brazil website, Amazon Brazil, I've just um, discovered that they Faber Castell in Brazil has plenty of products that is not in us and anywhere in um amazon not in us not in uk not here in australia so so frustrating because they have really good products and i wish they would be shipping it here anyway stop blabbing next one is um this metallic alchemy acrylic paint so this one is in emerald green and guys i love the color of this one so i'm just gonna show you guys one of the swatches that i did so i was playing around with it and this is the swatch of this one and look at that it's so beautiful so that is the acrylic paint i plan to purchase more of the colors of this one and i'll show you i've used it already in one of my coloring pages i'll share it with you on my next video so that is that anyways next is so i bought myself Finally, a foundation brush for my backgrounds. So, um, so found this on Amazon for around eleven dollars. So, and it came with this pouch, and of course, I I couldn't resist trying it already. So, I got it for a good price. So, this came with a brush uh, cleaner thingy so you put your finger here and you just uh, do that so I haven't opened it and it is how many is this one so two three four six seven eight nine so it comes in a 10 piece package for $11 so it's not bad and of course I've already used it with one of my pages I got so excited so that is my brushes and what else also I uh, purchased this hard stained glass coloring book by Kathy Balan. So this one has been a while already. I purchased this in Amazon US and uh, when I was watching um, a few of the old videos from other YouTubers and uh, I said I just have to have it and I'm so curious how art materials will react on this type of paper because to be honest i haven't seen um finished coloring page from this one uh that's to my knowledge so i'm just i am just gonna try it so yeah that's an interesting book and i like it and What else? What else? Okay. I think that's 
about it guys so yeah i can't find anything new on my my haul box and thank you once again for watching and sharing you this um haul monthly haul that i've been doing um it's been one of my popular videos at the moment so thank you once again please uh, like and subscribe and comment down below which is your favorite from my haul so far or you're interested in and don't forget to click the subscribe button and notification bell and i'll see you on my next video thanks guys have a great day bye sorry guys i just i was just checking my uh things and i saw this i'm just gonna add this up to my haul so i purchased also this one it's not coloring related but it's still stationary and i do enjoy um sharing this with you guys so this one is a weekly meal planner so i bought this in big w so this one the concept is to do your shopping list and plan your meal but this i'm not gonna use it for that i'll be using it for my roster so what i usually do instead of copying it i just write it down so if there's changes i could just easily erase the only thing i don't like about this because i started um using this i uh, took some of the pages out i love the color and it's really nice but the date comes backwards so monday to sunday so when i was writing i got so confused so i don't know what will i do with that but other than that I still love it so that's that and next one is believe in yourself it's a monthly planner I just wanted a small planner so if ever uh, I plan is to take this with me all the time so if everything pops up I need to put it here uh, also put the plan, um, roster here if I'm on shift or what but um, my goal is to always bring this with me and i'll be transferring it to a bigger planner that i'll just be leaving here at home um because lately i've noticed that i haven't been using planners lately i used to love it i put stickers on it and i think i should get my life more organized because it's all over the place at the moment so that was my plan when i was grabbing those and also i'm not sure but i I do think that I haven't shared this with you guys. So I bought a uh, cheapy pens. So this is my KG ball ballpoint pens. So this one I got it for ninety nine cents in Office Warehouse. Um, the reason why, because when I was telling you a story that had, I love ball pens. So I've managed to, uh, Johanna, um. Commented below to buy cheapy pets and yeah, it was a great idea by the way, Johanna and thank you for that So I took her advice. I bought cheap pens and I just Carry her um, with me like two one or two of each color just in case and so far It's been working. So and just in case you're curious So this is the tip uh, I'm really, I don't really care for the, um, whoopsie, for the ink because I'm not the one using it anyway, but that's all right. So if uh, someone needs to sign, I can just pop this out of my pocket and if I leave, um, forget it, I'm really not worried about it or yeah so that is my so yeah i just wanted to add that one i'm really not sure if this was on the last one but this is just recently purchased so i just added it anyway thank you once again bye